And a lot of people are saying, you can't really use your bed with the deck system in there, right? So, I was talking to him and I was like, hey, what do you, what do you think I put my ATV in the back, right? Like not even any ramps right here. We just kind of just, I put my diff lock on and it climbed right up. Like no problem whatsoever. I really thought I was gonna have to make some ramps to go in right here and right there. But with having a diff lock, it really doesn't matter. And I really thought that these would kind of kick out, but you can see how close they actually did. So I feel like if I try to drive this on here, I'm gonna end up going through my back window and we've seen that countless times. If I'm not pulling a trailer, I don't see the big deal. But if I wanted to pull a trailer, I either had to get one with a longer tongue or like I said, get it up on there. But it's absolutely fine. Like there's no issue. Everyone says, oh, you can't use your bed. Da, 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 da. You just have to get creative. Like I like having the storage in my bed more than I like having more room in my bed because I don't ever use that room 90% of the time. And all that stuff is just flying around in my pickup. The cool thing is when these companies send me these products like this, I use them like they're supposed to be. Like we put them to the test. We don't just, hold on a second. So now the hard part is getting up here. You hear me heavy breathing. Hey, will you get back? All right. Let's go ahead. I don't know if I can do this. Oh yeah, I can do this with one hand. There we go. Oh. There we go, just like that. So yeah, there you have it, that fits in there. Now it's on to the next project, which is I have five more unopened boxes that we have to get through. Next thing we're checking out is we have something from Bulletproof Hitches. And then, we also have a deck box that has foam inserts for your tools. Oh, and if you guys don't know, we got headers for the truck. Yeah. So this is the other thing that we have for deck. Oop, I gotta put that on. You got the hat. They give you the exacto knife. I don't know what those rods are. Oh, those are the rods are for the hinges. So you guys can kind of guess what you might use this for. I'm gonna have to figure out the placement. One, two, three. So we'll get into this in a little bit. I will take you on a little tour on what I do have in my deck system that was unintentional so right here i keep my straps and these are actually a cool system i got this along with it these just clip into here and you put this like this and i forget these things are good for like 300 or 500 pounds a piece i can't really remember but i have wrenched on these and i really think that you would that these could these would probably pull the screws out before they break honestly there's one two three four so and then here i have my d-bag is what it's called i know right i keep all my wrenches tub of towels test light gloves hammers you name it pry bars just anything that I might need. And you know, if I come across someone on the side of the road broke down or they need help or whatever, hell yeah, I got it, baby. This one's kind of more messy. I gotta go through this side and organize it just a bit more. I forgot I had that. That could actually 
use that at work. And what do I have in here? Just some starting fluid and brake clean whatnot. Can openers, Harbor Freight Hitch. If you're thinking about getting one of these, make sure you take up the space in there. These hitches kind of wobble or whatever. It's kind of weird. So you're going down the road and the trailers want to do this. But yeah, that's pretty much what I keep in here. I have, I need to put these in so my truck is not leaned back. And then I keep a tarp up here. These things have been absolutely a unit. And uh, they are expensive, but I truly believe it's, you get what you pay for. And uh, if it's something that you can use and you need it, then get it by all means. Like, why not? Why sit there and complain about the price? So I thought I chipped this. When I put the quad in here, the belly of the quad slammed into this and no damage. They also make the regular truck box that goes back here. But as, if I would have put the truck box and I couldn't put the ATV back here. And a lot of people are saying, well, if you put this, then you can't have a fifth wheel hitch. And I'm not going to use a fifth wheel hitch on a 1500, even though I have tow mirrors. All right, load it up for the dump. We're going to put that away, put that away. And these kids and their bikes. Yeah. Now I do have a trifold tunnel cover that goes on the back of my truck but in order to put the quad back there i have to take this off i haven't tried leaving it on uh, i was gonna measure i forgot to measure the distance from the tire to the back of the bed when it was sitting like this when the back wheels were still on the tailgate because if i could leave that trifold on there with the atv in the back that would be ideal even though it's really not that hard do what i do recommend though is definitely need to come up with a system that these lock in and I'm thinking about putting a, a Z-bar right here and then bending this to fit in the Z-bar. I really just don't want these to slide out. Now, I have diff lock on this, which means all four tires will rotate. And believe it or not, four-wheel drive is not diff lock. So four-wheel drive is like the front left and the back right. And if the back right slips, it'll send power to this one. So really, it's just like one left front, one right back. It, four wheel drive is just it's never what everyone thinks it's all four tires but it's really not it just sends power to all four tires but really only two tires at the same time but with that diff lock it definitely helps it's able to climb up here evenly instead of just one tire in the front spinning like this i don't know i'm pretty impressed with this thing it's done everything that it's supposed to do and i i intentionally put stuff in here just to see if it sags or if we're gonna have problems over time like this side probably has the most in it I, I should weigh everything and um yeah i think i'm gonna take that out and i'm gonna push this bag back and i'm gonna leave that new toolbox will go right here but I'm, i don't know not sure yet I, I probably come springtime we'll get it all pulled out and we'll redo everything and we'll figure out what really needs to be in here what i'm actually going to use what i'm not going to use and what i really love what i really love is when i put stuff on here i can still open my tailgate and get this stuff out get to my straps before all my straps used to just be like on the floor inside the truck and if i didn't have them in the truck i would throw them in the garage with a five gallon bucket and the problem with that is well they get tangled up and they're probably gonna get tangled up in there because like the first time I put them in, I rolled them up. And I'm probably not gonna do that again. God, these lights look so good. What'd it break off of? Okay, we'll deal with it later, kids. I'm in the process, we gotta find some new tires. I wanna go 33s, but Treadright doesn't make the 33s. So I'm trying to think about it like a 285, 70, um 17 which is like a 31 and a half by 11 and a half which would be better than what's on there because the factory rim is a seven inch wide rim this is a nine inch wide and then i'm gonna be getting some different tail lights i like these but i want 
I want something a bit different, and then the bumpers are going to get changed out. But that's how easy we get sidetracked over here. We're talking about this. I'll tell you what's nice about having like all this time off now with I, I quit driving truck is I actually have time to do this stuff and figure this stuff out before I never, ever, ever had time to do anything. I had all the money in the world, but I didn't have any time. So I just bought stuff that was useless. Now I'm out here actually uh, focusing and doing fun stuff with my money and time, including spending time with my family. I get to have my daughter with me instead of her going to the babysitter when I'm home and I've never ever got to spend time with my kids like that. So it's kind of nice. I say kind of because if you're a parent, you already know what I'm about to say. Like, I love spending time with my kids, but man, are they annoying. Huh. Oh, you're annoying, big head. Anyways, that's today's update. Uh, I apologize if you hear me heavy breathing. Uh, I'm not the skinniest person, and I'm not in the best shape right now. Uh, I am trying to do some more cardio at the gym to try to hopefully overcome the heavy breathing that's like one of the biggest complaints i have on my videos <laughs> you know but i really don't know what to do 